Love and Light Collective. Ooh, we got some loud cars driving by. Love and Light Collective, Love and Light, and welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for joining me in today's reading, energy reading. I don't know why they're telling me, but energy is fluid, okay? It can change so frequently. Energy is, you know, all over the place. So when I pull messages, guys, I pull energy from all over the place. It may resonate with you now. It may resonate with you later. It may have resonated with you a year ago. Take it how it resonates to you, okay? Leave what does not resonate. Please do not take it to heart. Take all your messages back up to the most high and get the clarity that you need, okay? I am just pulling energy, okay? So Father God, angels, divine Holy Spirit, please go ahead and protect the collective, protect my intuition, and protect my channel. Send the collective the same thing that they are sending myself. If they are sending love and light, bless that to them and their families tenfold. And if they are sending any evil eye, bad intention, I just send it right back up to God right back up to the most high and let the most high deal with it how he needs to all right thank you to the subscriber that um reached out and told me that just send it back up to the most high and i was i meditated on that i'm like you know what that's true i'm not even going to return to sender anymore i'm not even going to return to sender i'm going to send it straight up to god and let god lay it out and deal with how he needs to because at the end of the day god has you know he ordains whatever needs to happen okay so thank you for that if you if you know who you are like the video all right guys so i just did a really juicy reading it was the energy around the collective coming out of the holidays out of this freedom day and i feel like there is a lot of you know cleanup energy so now I wanted to go ahead and pull because the second I jumped off of that video, the song that popped into my head was Beautiful, I just want you to know You're my favorite girl Oh, 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 oh So somebody thinks that you're beautiful Somebody thinks that you're their favorite girl And, and yeah, let's pull on that Because I just feel like something wanted to come out Okay, so you got somebody who's been keeping an eye on you, who thinks you're beautiful, you're their favorite girl, and oh, 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 okay, so let's go ahead and see what wants to come out with that. All right, let's see, let's see, okay, spirit, God, angels, ancestors, let's see what wants to come out for the collective around this beautiful energy, okay? Good things are happening for the collective. Good things are happening. Take time to rest. Take time to recoup. But somebody sees you as their favorite girl. Let's see. Let's see. Spirit, clear, accurate message. Oh, goodness. Okay, we got a bunch falling, so we'll take them. We have peace. Yes. I feel a lot of you guys are regaining your peace, reconnecting back to self, staying in this meditative, hibernative energy, and knowing that you are very protective. 28, which breaks down to a 10. So you have completed some sort of a cycle. If you resonate with this, which I feel like it is an extension, go ahead and watch the video down below. It started off with a lot of karmic low vibrational energy, and then it turned out to be such a beautiful ending. So I feel like you guys right now are really staying in that isolation, right? Abundance, beautiful, abundance. So you're staying in your peaceful energy, which is 11, 38 breaking down to 11, which is a master number. So you are manifesting abundance. You are manifesting your wildest dreams. You are staying connected to nature, to the animals, to the elements. You are tapped into everything around you. Very beautiful. We also, I see a big full moon. We have two full moons this month. Crazy, right? I don't ever realize that. We have a new moon, we had a new moon, and then we have two full moons this month. So this month is really calling in significant change significant manifestation okay so stay in that hibernation stay in that really restful that peaceful state keep your vibrations high know that this month is going to cause um some catalyst some big kind of change we've just if you're in america we just had freedom day yesterday and i feel like a lot of us had let go all those things that were clinging on to us so hard and yeah we're realizing that we are in this we've made it out of the darkness and now we are in the light we are the key to get into this three which is manifestation beautiful very beautiful 
I see two crescent moons, which is what we have right now, currently. And then we have abundance. They're telling me to move realization and abundance. So it would be peace, realization, and then abundance. I think you're staying in this peaceful state, realizing that you're abundant, realizing that you have everything you need in this moment, realizing you can manifest anything that you want to see into fruition, which is very beautiful. And then we have darkness, exactly. But then here comes this darkness again, but we do have a new moon. And I see this more in a, in a positive, right? I feel like during this new moon, which is 40 breaking down to a four, you're really going to have to, we just finished the new moon, but during that new moon, which was a cycle we just had, it was time to really get into that darkness, really get into that meditative state, really get into pulling yourself back, right? And staying in that peace. Goodness, what was that that went flying? One second, guys. Faith, exactly. Know that you have the faith. Look at that new moon. We have abundance and we have faith. Both new, uh, full moons, sorry. So we have two full moons, two crescents, and then one new moon, okay? But know that you have the faith to create look at her she's pregnant not just pregnant with a child pregnant with the world the world is yours which is four which is stable which is solid right that is beautiful so beautiful i just want you to know you're my favorite girl okay so i feel like I feel like whoever is singing that song or hearing that song about you collective, because I feel like, or either you're the person singing this song about someone, I'm feeling like you are in this peaceful state when it comes to that person or you collective. I feel like this, it, it's like almost a peace is around them. They're realizing that you are abundant, right? They're, they have to pull all that darkness out. They have to really realize that you know what, if I have the faith, I can create anything I want, right? I think that's beautiful. I think somebody is realizing this about you. With that song coming out, I think, yeah, sundress. Somebody wants to see you in sundresses collective. All right. Let's see what else wants to come out. I was bisexual from childhood, next level. I'm not taking it. He always loved you, so I had to play him for everything he had before he went to you. Next level. Okay, so I do, I am feeling some karmic energy co coming out. And guys, it, this is always how it is. Every time cheating with the same sex. So I feel like maybe somebody, maybe this karmic energy was cheating with the same, same sex. I tried to leave, cut you off, move on. I can't fight it anymore. Okay. I hope you're home when I show up because baby, I'm coming. So somebody wants to surprise you at your home. I suppress my feelings and how, and now I have to go back on everything I said to go back to you, okay? So I feel like I'm getting two things, okay? I'm getting this other energy here that is more of a low vibrational energy. Um, somebody's in fire sign energy, which is very um, masculine, very go-getter, very, you know, take charge, which is beautiful. You have my soul always and forever. And then there's a Scorpio energy that came out as well. But okay, let's clear it up. I do feel like there is this, um, whoever is singing or saying, beautiful, I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Okay, so there is this man masculine energy. Doesn't have to be a man, could be same sex like we saw. But um, there is this masculine energy who is in this peaceful realization, right? That, you know, everything that they said, everything that they thought you were, everything that, you know, they imagined you to be, all this darkness was was false. And now they're really seeing the abundance, the light, the, the goddess energy inside of you, right? And they're having to go back on everything that they said. They, they say that you have my soul always and forever. But then there's this other outside energy here that's like, I had to play you for everything you had, everything they had, him for everything they had before he went to you, okay? So take it how it resonates. I feel like there is 
this big um, realization energy around the collective. But um, that's what we're in, right? There has been so much manipulation on the true light workers, on the true divine feminine, on the true divine masculine. There has been so much manipulation and magic done that and energy swapping that people have gotten your energies mixed up. Somebody's missing you. Yeah, somebody sees that you're a psychic, right? Somebody sees that you're a medium. Somebody sees that you speak the truth. Somebody wants to go into business and pleasure, work and pleasure with you. Blocks have been unblocked. Yeah, and now they're being judged because there has been so many blocks. There has been so much magic. There has been so much manipulation on everything that's going on. People wanted to portray the collective, the light workers, the divine feminine, the divine masculine as this is who they are. Little do they know that's not who they are at all. People had gotten them so mixed up. I'm hearing, I'm sorry. Okay, somebody's saying travel. They told me to stay because of the money. Yes, I'm so sorry. I can't make it up. I'm hearing, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Because they had gotten you all wrong, collective. Okay? Energy swapping is what I'm hearing. Energy swapping. I'm going to do some stuff I've never done to you, girl. So the same cards are coming out. All that glitters is not gold. And in the last reading, it was like people had them, you know, I need to be in this situation. I need to be in this job. I need to live in this town because I need to accumulate these kind of things. I need to have this kind of status. I need to have this kind of wealth. And at the end of the day, you're almost creating this prison for yourself where you realize, you sit back and you look around and you're like, wow, I'm not happy where I am. I don't get along and resonate with any of the people around me. I don't even like the scenery where I'm living. My health is deteriorating. I'm getting older and here I am still trapped in all of this. And that's why I said in that last reading, all money is not good money, right? All that glitters is not gold. Like I, I've been having clients, multiple clients wanting to partner up with me wanting to do um, business with me you know and at the end of the day all money is not good money if it's not feeling great for your soul if it's not feeling healthy on a soul level you have to let it go because at the end of the day health comes first sanity comes first family comes first money you can't take money with you when you go and I feel like that is like that you know signing your soul to the devil almost right a lot of these you see it everywhere you see it everywhere you see it on in companies you see it in um in the music industry you even see it on youtube some youtube people make it big and then they just change all of a sudden right it's like wherever you go and it's like more money more problems more money more issues confirmation with the noise death spells exactly it's like almost like you're signing a death spell on yourself, but you give it to God. All the death spells, you send it back to God, like that subscriber said, right? Don't send it back to sender because like I said in the last one, when somebody does ill to you and you just return it back, you're kind of just sending that back. But instead, send it to God, pray for them and let God, God's going to see that and God's going to bless you 10 times more because you've canceled that energy you didn't just return it you cancel that energy out and you put positivity on top of that so i really did sometimes who for whoever said that to me i don't even remember who it was but for whoever said that to me i really took the time meditated on it really thought about it and i was reading my bible and the scripture of that came came up i can't remember the scripture if you guys do know what the scripture is i know i have true christian believers comment that down below let me know what scripture that is where it's like you know god i don't even know how it goes but it's like god when you when somebody does bad to you don't just return it don't just send it back but bless it send it to god and bless it and then god's gonna reward you 10 times over i don't know thinking thinking man get out of your head and get moving okay so that came out as well can I suck your toes? So girls, get your toes done. Guys, make sure you're manicured. We do have same-sex relationships. So whoever it is, somebody wants to suck on your toes. One in a million type of love. Okay? You're going to be so happy when... You're going to be so happy when you see what you're going to be blessed with. Okay? So that's God. 
that's God. So whatever your current circumstances are right now, check out the last reading because it was nothing but abundance, positive movement forward, sudden wealth. It was nothing but goodness coming out towards the end of the reading. And I feel like that's what it is. There's this heavy past energy wanting to cling on. And then there's this beautiful movement forward, okay? Faith without works is dead. So always believe, always have the faith, but also put in the work. Go after what it is you want to see. Put in that put in that work but then also isolate yourself in a positive way know that you put up the walls you have around yourself and know that you need to to have that peace right put up the walls around people places and things to have that peace very beautiful you got me hooked and now i'm obsessed with you following your social media okay so this person who thinks you're so beautiful is hooked on you okay they're hooked on you they're watching you but it says get out of your head and get moving oh wow co-sleeping with mama and mommy and papa so spirit babies are coming out i still co-sleep with my son to this day i don't know why they want me to talk about this but i've always been like don't get me wrong there's some nights where i'm just like man i need my space right but when you go back to yes thank you when you go back to this abundance right and all the animals and nature and oh goodness and everything like i've been noticing i'm really tapped into my animalistic instincts right like yes i'm very i live in a 3d world i operate in a 3d world but i am not part of this world i am very animalistic animals don't think of money animals don't think of tomorrow animals don't think of you know yesterday animals think of what they need right now in this moment but also i've been tapping in with like how animals are with their children and that brings me to co-sleeping when animals go home and rest they're all in a nest bears they sleep together birds they're in a nest together you know, all these animals huddle up in their environments to feel peaceful and protected together. That's how I feel when it is with the bed, right? I have my dog on the bed. I have my confirmation. I have my son in the bed, you know, and I know that our family is safe in that unit. I know a lot of people, you know, their babies are just born and they put them in the other room. And I understand that. I get that. And there's no judgment for that. But it's like that closeness, that unit, that bond, especially when we sleep, that's our souls, right? That's our souls that are freely roaming and having our chance to roam. And our, our vessel, this physical vessel is so vulnerable in that moment because we're unconscious. And I feel like you know, so many different things, especially when you're an energy worker and you understand that so many things can be happening. And when my son is close, I know that energetically my soul is protecting his soul. His soul is protecting my soul because his soul is very powerful in the spirit realm. But when you guys, if you guys have children, maybe, maybe if you don't co sleep, maybe bring them close for a couple nights. Maybe just, you know, try it out. See how it is. Maybe somebody needs to. If you're going to expect to have a baby, co-sleep with them. Bring them close to you. But also be safe with it because, you know, there is, you know, when they're young, suffocation and all that kind of stuff can take you know, play. But just be smart about it, but keep your children close. In the last reading, it was clear your kid's energy. So there's a lot of things that you're trying to interact with your kids on an energetic field. And I feel like when you co-sleep and when you keep your kids close and when you just have them closely to you, they're they're a lot safer especially children that are younger because they're so vulnerable right graveyard dirt and magic because maybe somebody's doing graveyard dirt and magic on your children maybe somebody sees how powerful your children are and they're trying to be close to them i pulled my son back i pulled my son back i'm like he no he's not going out because i could feel it i i i have the gift of premonition right so i see things into the future before they happen thank you god for that gift so i can see things that are happening before they happen and i feel it on an energetic level and i trust my instinct right so before things even happen i just pull back i'm like no nope, no nope, it's not gonna happen pull back pull back but when people do this and if people have children of their own know that that is like and this is what makes me so upset i don't know why we're talking about children so much but this is obviously significant when people have children and you do 
negative things to other people's children. You are actually calling what, what you give out is what you get back, okay? So when you do something like graveyard dirt or manipulation or energy harvest or off of, and it doesn't even need to be a child that is living, it could be a child in the spirit realm. When you are doing this kind of work on a child, that is going to reverse effect 10 times over to your children or your future children. You might not even be able to bring in these future children. God does not play about his children, okay? So I don't know who needs to hear that. Just please take that really seriously because there's a lot of things going on around children, okay? Let's see what else wants to come out. We'll get some new cards. I did not want to see you happy. No one can no one compares to you and your love okay so somebody did not want to see you happy but now they're realizing no one compares to you and your love they see you as a go a go-getter but i'm also seeing go get her we will need a safe word okay somebody saying we need a safe word and i'm getting that in a sexual way but i'm also getting that in okay and that's something else as well because I've been hearing on the collective with personal readers that I watch where it's like um, people who have strong telepathic connection with their significant other or their, you know, whatever it is, twin flame, divine union, soulmate, whatever it is. And you guys are not in physical communication. Um, there are karmic energies that are manipulating readers' messages that are manipulating um, and also like um, watching, right? Seeing if you comment, seeing if you post, all those kind of things. Okay, now what, and I've been hearing that from different readers. Now, what I wanna clear up is for the karmics that are, you know, trolling comments and trolling pages, we don't need to talk to our, we hear like, for me, for instance, I can call my divine masculine in the soul and his his being can be right here. I can't see him just like God, right? I can't see him, but I can feel him. I can hear him. I can communicate with him. I can't see his physical, but I can see him, hear him, communicate with him in the spirit. It's crazy. So it's like no matter what the, the karmic energy wants, it's like we're communicating always in the spirit if that makes sense and a lot of people don't get that because it's like how are you communicating with somebody yeah telepathic communication it, it's it's crazy it really is and i had no and that's how you know you're in one of these high level connections that you and i can do it with other people too but it's very strong with that with that other person right so we don't need to communicate through physical 3d i i can communicate with him whenever I want to, or, you know, unconditional love. Yes, because there is unconditional love between the both, okay? It says, I don't drink, but I will with you anything to open up and get wild. I haven't drank in a long time. I have cut out everything. Um, that was like that old cycle, right? And that was a lot of that, yes, toxic female, that energy swapping, because I do feel like there is a toxic female in this who does drink, who does smoke, who does these low vibrational things a lot and projecting that energy onto the collective. So I'm stuck in something I'm working on breaking free. Okay, so maybe that's your um, divine feminine or divine masculine. Which femme uses drugs to keep others stuck in her illusions? I can't make it up. Ground your energy and connect with earth. I know what you're doing, boo. It's not going to work, okay? So yeah, exactly. These people are just revealing themselves, pretty much. She was paid to play me, though time heals. Court legal will go in your favor. And there is a starseed child, okay? Trackers on your phone and car. Yes, there is online, I know. And then I'd stick it out for the kids, not anymore. People are putting money blocks on you. And then they're saying you're still mine forever. Okay. Past lover gang stalks and wishes bad on you because of bottled emotions. Okay. 
and it says i'm ready to be a mom dad with you let's have a baby so somebody wants to have a baby with you maybe that's why i was talking about all that baby energy because if it does happen just know that you want to keep your children close you do want to co-sleep you do want to keep them close especially when they're so young um i mean all ages all ages honestly okay Let's see, what can we see for the collective coming in? What is the situation regarding? Let's see. Let's see, spirit, clear, accurate message. Thank you for liking the video, guys. Bad health again, I can't make it up. This was the first card that came out in the last reading. There is a huge, maybe it's this karmic female energy who's been doing a lot of drugs and all of that, but there is somebody that does have bad health. Now, a karmic femme could be a man. It could be a man. So just take it how it resonates. It could be a man that was in feminine energy. We do have a man who is in thought regarding a house. Okay? So take that how it resonates. Next card, we have courtship. Four. Somebody probably wants to go into courtship with you. Message of concern. This main male wants to send a message of concern, okay? This message of concern is going to cause a lot of change. Maybe this main male is going to be sending a message of concern regarding somebody that he's in thought with. We have 31 breaking down to a four, which is also stability. We also have 16 breaking down to a seven. We have two, we have four again, we have five and then we have one and we have unexpected income. Okay, and we have a message again. So guys, there is this message coming in, seven. Okay, imprisonment. Somebody will be getting imprisonment, somebody in a family room. Uh, and when I see toil and labor, I hear because somebody is messing with, like toiling and laboring. Somebody is messing with your work, okay? Somebody is going to be going into prison because of um, somebody in the family room. They've done something and something has come out in the family room. I feel like something has been brought to light that somebody has been doing something. I feel like whoever has been doing something has has bad health, has gotten some kind of message, some kind of thing of bad health. Um, I'm not sure. When the last reading when bad health came out, I got it regarding a heart. Now this could be um, a female in masculine energy or it could be a male, but I'm getting a more of a masculine energy that does have bad health. There is somebody who is in thought regarding a house, regarding a home, regarding courtship. Somebody wants to send a message of concern and this is regarding the same main male. So this main male who is in thought wants to send a message about a house, courtship, message of concern. Take it how it resonates to your situation. However, there is this other person that has bad health that is going to be um, going into some kind of some sort of imprisonment because I feel like there has been some kind of information that came to light in some family room, maybe a family gathering, right? Maybe everybody was sitting around and and some kind of information came to light about um, somebody messing with with somebody's work somebody messing with somebody who's just toiling and laboring right and then there is a message and then unexpected income as well so guys if you have been going through some kind of situation just know that um god sees all okay poverty yes because somebody is trying to put you in poverty somebody wanted you in poverty but there is an unexpected income coming in. So instead of um, you going in this poverty, there is actually um, some kind of reverse effect, right? As above, so below. What you give out is what you get back. So yeah, privileged lady, great fortune, high honor, occupation, journey, wow, and child. Can't make this up. Okay, so yeah, there is a message. Instead of you being in this poverty, you are going to be this privileged lady. You are going to be placed in high honor. You are going to be getting great fortune around your occupation, right? Here, it's like toiling and laboring. You look like you've been putting in so much work. Your clothes are torn. But here in occupation, you're dressed in white. I mean, you're dressed in white in both of them, right? But oh no, no, they're telling me she's she has white on, but she's dressed in blue. 
So here you're toiling and laboring. There's people messing with your money that want you stuck in poverty. Your clothes are torn, but you're dressed in blue. So you are all in your emotion. However, all that is about to change because you are now stepping into this privileged lady. You're going to have great fortune. You're going to be placed in high honor and your occupation is going to change. Instead of you toiling and laboring, Instead of toiling and laboring, now you're dressed in white, but you're dressed in fancy linen, right? All that all that toil and labor is going to be turning into occupation. You're going to be going on a journey. Maybe you're going to have a new child, and that's going to place you on a new journey. Or maybe a little girl, I'm not sure, with curly brown hair, green eyes, I'm not sure. But I'm also getting that um, if you're not physically having a child, you're going to be going on a journey with your child, Okay and you will be having a new pathway. And this is coming in the distant horizon. All right, guys, this is the reading. Let me get one Bible verse because that's what they want me to do. Something came out in the family room. I'm gonna go ahead and pull what came out in the family room the next reading. I feel like this is like a like a saga. I don't know, if, like when I do these little back-to-back -back readings, it's all one big message and it just all unfolds. So if you guys did resonate with this, if you like this kind of message, go ahead and check out the one down below. Um, um, and then the one that's going to be posted above because they're all going to be significantly related. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. God, one Bible verse for me. Thank you. My brokenness brought me to you. I'm thankful for the scars. All right, beautiful. So I feel like this main male who says, beautiful, I just want you to know you're my favorite girl. Okay, let's not forget that. That is highly significant for this whole entire reading. But it's, he is saying um, his brokenness brought him to you. I feel like through the pain, it brought him to you and he's thankful for the scars. But also his brokenness brought him to God. Your brokenness collective brought you to God and you're thankful for the scars. Your scars are your story, right? You, but I'm hearing you do not look like what you've been through. So guys, take it how it resonates. This is the reading. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe to the Intuitive Family if you feel called to. Thank you. Peace.